Hello there, this is Tech Talk, and here's my full detailed review on the Marshmallow CM13 ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi 2 or Xiaomi Redmi 2 Prime. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. I'm using the CM13 ROM on my Redmi 2 Prime from the last three days. And firstly, I'm gonna check the possible bugs of this CM13 ROM because there were a lot of bugs in CM12 and 12.1 like proximity sensor, camera and mobile data not working and also I will check for other possible bugs ok so let us move on and check out the proximity sensor for that I have downloaded an app called sensors test uh, let me go there and I'm going to check the proximity sensor as I'm putting my hand just close to the proximity sensor it says near and when I take it off it says far so it confirms that the proximity sensor is working as expected so now let us move on to the camera for this bug video I was checking the comment section of a lot of other videos and I found that a lot was saying that the camera is not working so now let us check it out for that, I am going to the default camera app. Okay, so now let me focus and capture a pic. And the camera is working. Now let me turn on the flash and do the same. So as you can see flash and the camera both are working and this one is with flash it is working camera is working properly and this one is without flash and the HDR mode is also working and the video mode is also working. In some other lollipop ROMs for Redmi 2 Google Play services was not working. I was not able to add my Google account but in the CM13 we can luckily add Google accounts and now let us check. Uh, out that the Play Store is working or not. So I want to download this Adobe app. Okay, now let me install it and it is downloading. It also shows up the downloading speed. And the app is downloaded and now it is installing. As you can see the app is installed and it is also working. Previous ROMs were not at all battery efficient but in this CM13 ROM I am getting about one full day of usage with around 4 to 5 hours on screen time which is really good for this Redmi 2 battery. And I have also tested mobile data on this CM13 ROM and it is working as expected. So that's all for this bug video. So now let us move on to the pros. Battery life is awesome and we got the latest Android. It is faster and we got a lot of material design. Proximity sensor, mobile data and camera is also working. Now we can record the screen with, a cam uh, with an app which was not possible in KitKat. And we got some really good uh, pre-installed apps uh, like this one is OmniSwitch in which we can switch between apps really really easily. As you can see it is the app tray. And we also got some other apps and one of them is screencast in which we can record the screen like I am doing at this time. And we also get got an app called Addaway which need root access but it is really good. Okay so now let us quickly move on to the cons. The only con that I found on this ROM is that sometime it lags in the lock screen. And that's all for this video. If you want me to do a video on how to get this ROM without any bugs, just comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna make a video on that. Thanks for watching. Do check out my other videos.